Hey guys, Vincent here, and we're back for part three of Project Blackwing. So, as you guys know, in the last two parts, I put the transmission and rear suspension together for this project. Now it's time to move on to the front suspension. So, let's start off with that. Starting with our bulkhead, we're going to take our shock tower, slide it on the back, just like so, and screw in the two screws that hold it on. We're also going to need to take our front body posts, slide that right over the top of the front shock tower, and screw down the two screws that hold it on. Now that we have our main section of the shock tower done, we're going to need to start taking our A-arms, sliding them right over the squat bars, and screw down the one kingpin that holds both of them in place. Now that we have our A-arms in place, I'm going to take our caster blocks, depending on which one we have, right or left. I'm going to slide them right in their spot on the A-arm, and put down the one kingpin that holds in place. Next, I'm going to take our steering blocks, slide a bushing into both ends. Ah, they're going to be tight. There we go. Take another one. Here we go. Now we can take our spindle, slide it through the bottom, and these are pain. There we go. I'm going to take a Teflon washer, slide it on the end, just like that, followed by one of the little metal rods slide that through if you can and then push the hex sub all the way down now that we have the spindle assembled we're going to take the whole assembly slide the steering block into the caster which seems to be very hard. There we go. And it's going to be held together with one screw. Next I'm going to take a screw and run it through this hole of both steering blocks so that the thread is sticking upwards. Alright, so next I'm going to take our camber links. Again, they're going to be the plastic ones. I do not have the metal ones. I'm going to be taking a shoulder screw, screwing it down into this hole right here, the shock tower. And then taking another one and screwing it into this hole right here in the caster block. Next I'm going to attach the front shocks. The shocks are going to be held on with two screws. One up at the top by a shoulder screw on the top of the shock tower. And one in through this little slot of the A-arm. Next I'm going to take our tow links. Slide one of them onto the screw that's left on the steering block. And screw down a single 5.5 millimeter nut. Next I'm going to be using a Kimbro servo saver instead of the stock Traxxas one just because I really don't have anything else on hand. So with the spline right there uh, facing upwards, we're going to take one of our tow links, put a screw through the top, thread it through the hole right there, and then put a nut on the other end. The last thing I'm going to be doing for this part is going to be attaching the front skid plate which is going to be held on with two screws as well as the front bumper which is also going to be held on with two screws. Here are our guys, we are finally done with the front suspension. Now we can, I can officially say part three is done and we are almost done with this project. Freaking Blackwing is almost there, so excited. So all that's left to do is a chassis and that's going to be in part four. So I'll see you guys next time.